Okay. All right. I mean, I think we're basically going to end up playing through the whole thing in one sitting here. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Huh. I think you're nearing the end, if I remember correctly. Oh? But shouldn't there be another, like... One, two, three, four... Minimum four, maybe six? Or seven? Milton, 1992. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Huh. Oh. spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. So, I mean, this was... So, he... But... I... 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 No. No, 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 no. There's no damn way. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. What in the hell? Okay, no, I'm going the wrong way. Just keeps going up. God damn. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until mom got him a job at the cannery. Huh. So how many more? Lewis and Edie. And Dawn. Lewis, Dawn, and Edie. And maybe Sanjay and Sven, but I don't know.
Luca. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, what, what, no, I didn't go back out. I was looking. Oh my god. Okay. Just trying to look around, game. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Huh. High school diploma. Ah, okay. What in the world? Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the camera. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... wander. Oh. Uh, uh. What in the world? I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Things that have not names. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoopsie, whoopsie. He knew it was all in his head. I, 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 I. Hoped he'd find himself. Oh. But he found something more. Oh. Oops. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. Uh, wait, what? He told me he'd made a new friend. A dog. On the edge of a city, he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. 
Can the you hell? songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. Oh, whoops, whoops. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. What in the hell is happening? Conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. Oops. St. Louis. <laughs> St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Oop. Minneapolis until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Wait, Even what? as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Uh... In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a Sure. Handsome Go with that. queen. The queen was on her own quest for. Uh, I like rainbows. Radiant rainbows. The sound of her <laughs> electric sitar. Electric sitar. Oh, yeah. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Oh. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was oh. all in his imagination. Few too many fish here. But he was so proud of having created it. Gotta get rid of a few of these. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Starting to pile up a bit. Okay, there we go. There we go. Come here. Come here. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. What in the hell? 
For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. <sighs> and then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Oh. What? I... wait. I... I think I misunderstood. I was expecting something to happen to him, like... Began to forget the world we know. Oh. Yeah, I was expecting something to happen at the chopping thing. I think thing. it him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Hello? What? What? I... Um... He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. I was kind of hoping it was just an accident from him having, like, not paying attention and slipped or something, but... Oh, this seems much worse. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Palace would be packed with his companions. It's much worse. Yeah, I'm noticing. We can't get off. Oh no. Oh no. No. Including the wise no. who insisted on advising. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Holy My brother was really cool. Shit. I wish you could have met him. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah, uh, ah, uh -huh. God damn, no. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. I mean, okay, so that, that's a little similar to, like, at least what I... I didn't think it'd be his head, but, oh my god. Okay, I'm going to say this at the very least. Look, 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 look. People, people, people. Listen, listen, listen. Listen very carefully. 
that is not as bad as I was picturing at first. Um, because I was thinking, like, okay, I've never been in an actual cannery or anything along those lines. So I don't know how it actually works, anything like that. I, I've never seen anything about it, etc., etc. Um, but the second he started going up that uh, belt, I thought that he was going to drop into like a. How do we put this? Um, giant shredding machine for fish. Uh, On the way back from Lewis's funeral. My mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. Okay, wait. So maybe this isn't. I'm not sure 2010. she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. Missing, missing, missing. That's all from Milton, isn't it? That packing peanuts? But I understand why we left. Edith, Mom. Mom ended up leaving everything behind. Happy 90th, god damn. To teach and to learn, Don Finch. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh no. So wait, Edie is dead, right? Yeah, 2010. Dawn, 2016. Okay. Wait, we never found out how Edie died. Edith. Wait, 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 wait. What about Dawn and Edie? Are we missing two? Can you miss two? I... Can I go back and find them? Last day, he oh. just watched his pack and didn't okay. say a word. Um. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown ups have to argue. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm guessing Edie died from the alcohol then. The power then. had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it.
Wait, what about the present in the hallway? Did I miss anything or no? I keep thinking I can't miss anything in this game, but I might be wrong. isn't going to end when you leave the house. Hmm. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. Oh, whoops. No, that's back the way I came. Have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Huh. History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Okay. All right. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. What? That night, the tide went way, way out. The thing. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You no, know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Huh. But I never thought I'd go back. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got turned around. For a while, I wandered. Uh. I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. came back to me. What the hell? Or maybe I came back to them. Mm. 
What in the world? Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. Huh. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Well, damn. Okay. After that, we moved around a lot. Huh. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. Oh. Hmm. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. Oh. Uh-oh. The rest happened pretty quickly. Oh, no. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. Oh, no. And then I was alone. Last Finch left alive. Until I found out about you. Oh. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Are we giving birth? This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. Huh. But I guess if you're reading this now... Things didn't work out that way. Oh no. Oh no. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. So she, so she died giving birth? Oh my god. What in the hell? God damn. For Shirley Dallas, 1948 to 2013. 65 years old. Ian Dallas, creative director. God damn. That was... That was amazing. Trophy earned, everything ends, the end. But, I mean, what do you take away from this? Was there really a curse? Was there just a weird, weird coincidences in life? I mean, I suppose you'll never... When it comes to life and how it works and how it begins and ends... I suppose no one will ever truly understand the mystery of it all. Although I guess, like, 
You can look at it two ways. Either there is some kind of like odd, weird mystery to all of it and something that we may never understand, or Joe and thanks, Johan. <laughs> or the other side of it is that maybe there's no mystery at all. Maybe it is just just the way things go. And maybe that's just life. Something that you can't explain, something unexpected. I mean, sure, you can... You can say with high likelihood, some higher than others, that things will happen, but... You'll never exactly know how it's going to go. I'm just kind of rambling here now. Sorry about this. Uh, <laughs> Man. Yeah, no, this, this was a hell of a game. God damn. Well, I mean, a hell of a story. <laughs> that is a weird looking baby. Um, I am, I will admit, I'm curious if there it genuinely was a curse or anything, or again, if it's just coincidences. But, I guess we'll never really know. Tragic yet amazing story. I mean... Yes? But at the same time, it's like... Like... How do I put it? Death? Like, death can always be... Death it can always be tragic to someone. Just because it's like, just because it's like a horrifying, oh, hello Apollo, uh, welcome in, we just finished the game, uh, we just finished What Remains of Edith Finch, I feel like I snuck in at the end of the movie, yeah, you kinda did, um, like, look, uh, I, there, there's all, of course, there, there's such a thing as a tragic death, but, um, and I mean some more tragic than others. The end. Um, but if you think about it, like, if someone has loved ones, ah, uh, there we go, Dawn and Edie are filled in, and then there's Edith at the top. Right, because when she was doing all this, when she was writing all this, she wasn't dead yet, but... Huh. Um... What, I, what was I saying? Oh! Yeah, no, I was saying that, like, yeah, uh, like, deaths can be tragic. Like I said, loss of younger children or such, very tragic. Um, but, I mean, if you think about it, like, any death, as long as someone had loved ones and people that cared about them, it'll be tragic to them, because they still lost someone that they cared about. Um, but I mean, my god. I am, like I said, I'm curious about the whole idea of a curse, if that was, like, an actual thing, or, like I said, if it was all just in their heads and just this is just how life went. That's kind of it. Damn. I mean, outside of that, I'm not sure if there's much more to say. Oh. Man. Um, alright, well... <clears throat> that, uh, there we have it. Um, alright, I'm not gonna end stream right away, but uh, I do need to do a quick outro here for YouTube, so just give me just a second. So, uh, if you've enjoyed the videos, if you've enjoyed this series, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more. 
and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you do want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and you can check out links in the description for What Remains of Edith Finch on Steam. Uh, this is the PS4 version that I was playing. Oh my. I... I'm not sure what to really say. This was an amazing story. And again, very tragic. Lots of... Very, like, yeah, it's really up to player interpretation. Because obviously, like... <sighs> you can take a guess on how some of this went down, but my god. It's just... To have a family, like, well, to have people go through all this, lose so many loved ones, and to such odd coincidences and odd ways, and I don't know. I mean, in some cases, you could call it a, a like, like in the case of Lewis, per se, like you could call it a curse of imagination almost. Possibly the most creative and the most imaginative people are the most um, susceptible to their own imaginations getting them into stuff like this. But I don't think that's the takeaway from this, honestly. It's just... Um, honestly, I think the real takeaway is just to... To not worry so much about the end and just enjoy life while you while you're here, while you're living. Simple as that. And to cherish those you love. While you can. <sighs> well, there you have it. What remains of Edith Finch? Alright. Well, as always. Until next time, until the next game, this is DZ, your overlord, Deseran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> I don't have the evil in me right now. <laughs>